High school sports opening weekend of baseball and softball continues with some nice non-conference matchups. Yeah, we're heading to Bartonville for baseball. Farmington travels to play the Limestone Rockets, and Limestone with a big second inning. Bases are loaded for Bryce Chapman. He singles to right. That's going to score Chase Harper and Logan Sprout. And now the Rockets are in front 2-1. to one. And moments later with two aboard, it's Gino Holt stepping in the box, and he's going to single to center. That chases home Caden Klecker and Chapman, and Limestone's a 7-2 winner over the Farmers. Danica Frazier and Olympia softball hosting Brimfield this afternoon. Good small school matchup, but it was a rough start for Danica. Kira Johnson for the Indians. This is a nuke out to left field off the top of the scoreboard for a home run. It's 1-0 Brimfield, but Danica, she settled in after that. No runs allowed the rest of the game. She gets the strike out there. Bottom of the third, Kat Springer here. She's going to send this laser to the left center field wall. She's going to leg out a triple and would tie it on a Frazier sack fly. Olympia wins 5-1. To the heart of Illinois Conference indoor track meet day at Shirk Center. Going to start with the girls 60 meter dash. El Paso Gridley's Jada Reed with the lean at the end to get the win. To the boys 800. Hayworth's Nathaniel Rorick was in second place until the last 100 meters. Gets the comeback dub for the Hornets. To girls high jump. EPG's Aubrey Phillips. She cruised today and her win only needed a couple of jumps to do it. Eureka's Natalie Roth. She gets the win in the girls 800 for the Hornets and she led pretty much the entire race. Over to another field event, boys triple jump from Ridgeview. Dominic Martin, he was the one seed, and he showed why today. Leaps and bounds into the sand for the win. Eureka with another win on the girls' side. Their 4 by 2 relay team, Millie Kaufman, bringing home the gold. And then Ridgeview with another win as well. They win the boys' 4 by 2 Braden Campbell greeted by some excited teammates. A packed day at Shirk Center. Great signing ceremony at Morton High School for three seniors today. Addie Engel signs to play basketball at ICC. Izzy Hutchinson will say, well, I'll sign to play basketball at St. Ambrose. And Amelia Miller, who took two years off soccer, returned to the sport, and today she signed to play soccer at St. Ambrose. I decided to take a little break and I wanted to focus on basketball, but after a while I really did miss soccer and I decided that I did want to come back and it's been the best decision ever. And obviously because now I get to play college soccer, which is really just a dream. Congratulations to those ladies. More from the Morton Signing Day at my WMBD Facebook page. And a signing day at Metamora where three seniors make their college commitments officials, including Maddie Kearns, who's headed to Aurora University to play golf. Kerrigan Hartnett signs to play softball at Spoon River College. And Jack Raff is also headed to Spoon River. He signs to play baseball there. It was always a goal of mine, you know, to play at the next level. It, it would just be an honor to play there, and now I finally can, so I feel like I'm finally fulfilling that goal I've always had. More with the Metamora Redbirds in their signing day at my WMBD Facebook page.